What's going on YouTube? It's Trainer from Truck Life Productions. I'm back with another video. One I've been telling y'all I'm gonna bring y'all. Um, I got this one. I'm actually gonna be having another one. I'll be recording here right after this one. I'll get them both posted up so that way y'all have some stuff to watch. Basically what this is, this is my review of this 2016 Ford F-150. This is my dad's truck. He traded or he um, ended up buying this after selling me his 98 F-150, which the 10th gen, if y'all have already seen on the channel, y'all know it. Um, I'm gonna be bringing a comparison video of that one and this one right here together. But uh, without further ado, let's talk about this one and the pros and the cons and what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and just kind of explain it. So basically this is a 2016 Ford F-150 XL model. Um, so it's lower trim level, but it is a sport edition or sport model. So there's a few extra little features uh, on it, including that sticker on the bed. Um, if y'all know these trucks real well, these trucks are aluminum body trucks as opposed to the old steel body. So it's not, not steel, it's aluminum. Um, the sport package basically gives you uh, painted bumpers, front and rear, um, the badging on the side of the bed there with a sticker. Um, also on the gear shifter inside, Whenever you push, there's a button on top to push for tow haul mode. You can also push it again for sport mode, which I guess basically just drops it down to another gear and just, just gives you all the power that you need. Um, but uh, with the sport mode also, or I guess this may be the XL version of it. It comes with the blacked out grill. Um, and this version did have the, uh, it's a, I believe 2015 to 2018 for this body style. Um, also, you see there's tow hooks down there at the bottom, which is definitely a pro. I like the a truck that has tow hooks on the front um, as well as the 10th gen. This would be considered a 13th gen. Um, but other than that, let's get into a little more. So with this one, it when he got the truck, Basically, it's a base model. It didn't come with no side steps. We ended up getting those. Didn't come with a bed liner. We ended up finding one bed liner and tailgate liner. Now, it does come with these new types of hooks up here, which lock in. They're on all four sides, or both sides, but they're in all four corners. Um, it does not have a sliding rear window, which it's okay, but, you know, it, it is what it is. This one also does come with six lug wheels um, instead of the five like the original year models. Go ahead and open up the door. So on these, it's extended cab. These back doors do what they call a 170 degree opening. So they open just about completely back. If you see that right there. Uh, the same on the other side it does the same way now these seats right here this is the good thing about these seats where in the 10th gen you see how it was um, where it folded down well the seats after that generation started folding where the bottom come up like that and that's what they do they come up got underneath the seat storage pull it back down but also there's a lever right here at the back of the seat comes down as well so if you tilted this down right here i'm sorry let me show you all that again tilt that down you can tilt the seat down like that and you can access stuff in behind the seat here which basically your jack tools for your jack right here and then any kind of extra storage you need back there but uh, locked in, headrest is back up. Um, cup holders back down here. So something that they did with these trucks, they did like the super duty trucks where this comes down, be able to see your mirror, 
right there as well as super duty trucks have the door handle to open the door on the inside right there um as far as the back door there's two ways of opening it if you're opening it from the outside right here you just take this piece and pull it back but if you were on the inside you would take and push forward on that um and i think let's see yeah that'd be the only way that that did so this truck does come with the 5.0 coyote motor um there were options to get a 5. Point, uh, i'm sorry a 3.5 twin turboed but uh this one has got the 5.0 trying to get let's see here I believe this one comes with a block heater as well this plug right here yep sure enough so this truck comes with a block heater just like the 10th gen pretty cool we don't need it where we live but uh it is what it is so unlock Got a different design of the headlights and the tail lights, stuff like that. But uh, this one also comes with a remote start on a separate key fob here. I'm gonna try to see if I can get this to work right. You lock it, oh, there's your key. Stick in to the ignition. Let's see if we can get this thing to start. Okay, there you go. So basically what you do is you tap once and then tap it again or I tapped it held. But uh sorry the fans cutting on because it's hot outside. But uh anyway that's how you get it to crank up with the remote start. We'll go ahead and we'll open up the door, get inside real quick to drive, turn the key on stick the key down here okay now the truck is on you don't have to turn it all the way over as if you're trying to crank it like you would on a normal vehicle basically you just turn it to the on position if you've already remote started um, if you've never used one and don't know how to use one there's you a little bit of, of how so on the inside it's pretty spacious for being an extended cab I mean it's about like the older generation was there's still decent amount of inside room um of course you know you get a little bit longer bed with having an extended cab but uh on the inside basically it's cloth seats um you know cloth floor we have put aftermarket um uh, floor liners in it and then with this right here so this is the same color as the seats but this is why we wrapped it in this so that we knew it would get dirty and we wanted to wrap it up to keep it from getting dirty and have all kinds of spots and all that so it's a little cloth now there's no compartment in here no kind of storage compartment or nothing on the inside of this so that's probably why you're wondering um if you're wondering hey how would you get to that you, it's nothing there i don't know why it's maybe just because it's the xl model but there's no compartment in there. There's two cup holders here. You have two cup holders there as well. And like I showed you with the back side. So up here you have your, um, I, I guess they call it infotainment system. I don't know. Um, I just know it gives you information you need, speedometer, tire pressures. Uh, it's your transmission temperature, which also I've noticed up here, there is a gauge right here that has a gear on it. And I'm also thinking that that is probably the transmission gauge, uh, temperature gauge. So, um, just in case, distance to empty, uh, keys, engine, tells you the old idle hours, all that. Back to your speedometer. Let's see here. So, you can go through on this one. You can go through and set up different stuff to trip fuel. You can go in here and set up towing trailer status you can set up the trailers no active trailer but we have put trailers on it um 
Ford gives you this. There's a it's a white and black checkered uh, sticker that you can put on. That's how you set up your trailers. Because this one has trailer backup assist, so you can turn that on. Even though we don't have a trailer hooked up, but if you need to hook up one, as you see, I clicked it on. It comes up and asks me if I want to hook up lawn one trailer, which is our trailer we use for hauling mowers and stuff. But um, also, if you wanted to go off road, it gives you your different uh, angles. If you're, you know, nose down, nose up, same with the rear end. Also, if you're on a pitch, like right now we're on a five degree angle. Um, that also lets you know. And then this right here, as far as this middle one, I believe this just tells you if you're in a two or four wheel drive. Because if you see now, it's got the lines going to the back wheels. If I bring this down to neutral and I put it into four low, got it in four high, okay, four low, advanced track off. Okay, now you see the lines have lit up for the front. Um, now it's in four low, but we'll put it back. We'll go to four high, advanced track on. So if you go down into four low, advanced track cuts off, four high, it's on. Then you go back into two wheel drive. And as you see, there's your status again. Um, it also does have a, right here at the top, sorry, right there, it shows you which way you're facing, northwest. Um, you also have all kinds of settings here to do all, a few different things. But uh, we'll just go back up to display mode. That's what we leave it on. Um, over here, now the, XLTs and higher up trims, they have a, a bigger area right here of a screen and um, it's touch screen. This one is not touch screen. You actually have buttons that you have to press for your different stuff. But uh, there is a backup camera on this. The newer vehicles had them. Put it into reverse. So you can see it does have a, a decent little bit of a backup camera. You know, it's I would say it's okay for what it is. It's not very big, like sort of like I have on my third gen Dodge that I put aftermarket the screen itself ain't as big. Um, so you just have to look, but you can zoom in, zoom out. Sorry, zoom out. And then of course you've got your middle line that turns, but your outside lines don't turn. Some vehicles, all the yellow, red, and green lines will turn. This one don't, um, but it's okay. You've also got traction control up here. You've got uh, everything for your radio. And then down here, you've got your, sorry, you got everything for your radio. And that's what all this is for as well. Down here, you've got all your climate control stuff. So this is the XL, it's not a whole lot of stuff down here, but I mean, it gets the job done. Everything from changing it to whatever you need it on, uh, defroster, stuff like that. Uh, also with the trailer backup control, you have down here, you have your trailer brake controller, set it, gain, minus, and then um, you have little hookups down here, little outlets and a USB outlet down here. Got cup holder down here, or not cup holder, but like tray, ashtray, stuff like that, I guess, if you needed. Got a uh, outlet right here. But other than that, um, it's like a black and, and sort of, see, a grayish colored interior. And there, the lights up here are LED and the lights on the outside of the truck are i'd say they're brighter they're not leds but they are um you know decent for what the truck is all in all it's a good truck got all your stuff right here cruise control and all that um let's go ahead and look under the hood so let's pop the hood Try to see here. It's up underneath. 
wheel? Oh. Sorry. Right here. Go ahead and pop the hood. have fog lights. Not exactly sure what uh, and it is quiet. They don't have no exhaust on it. Try to see exactly what uh, this is. of the leaf springs is where older trucks the shocks would be on the inside of the leaf spring so i don't know what the whole reason behind that is but hey it is what it is we'll give it a little rev real quick uh, there you go let you know if your door's open, if your engine's on, stuff like that. All in all, it's a good truck. Uh, I like the truck. It does have uh, plenty of pep in it uh, to get up and go. Um, I mean, it's, it's basically a good truck. The aluminum body, on the other hand, uh, I'm not really, you know, phased on, on it having aluminum body. I know there's some people that... Um, you know kind of had their ups and downs about uh having the aluminum as the body but you know to me it's like well at least it won't rust and then at the same time it does make the truck overall weight a little bit lighter so that you can haul a little bit more um but i mean it's still it is what it is i i'm i'm okay with it i don't really have any problems with it um something that over here on the side that i'm still trying to get used to and if you've driven if you've driven super duties or road and super duties you already are familiar with how these work like i said on the other side over there where this comes down it gives you to where you can see your mirror but if you try to rest your arm and they've got like armrests to sit down here but most of the time you know if you're trying to drive down the road and you've got the window down and you want to hold your hand or arm out the window it, just that little bit of difference just kind of throws things off i mean it's no big deal it's a little pet peeve but it, it's all right i drive around with my arm up there or down here it don't matter but I think this truck, I want to say it comes with just over 400 horsepower. I'm not exactly sure what the the numbers are. Um, but it's kind of just showing y'all this truck and, and what I think of it, my thoughts, and um, just showing you the ins and outs of it. It's got a little storage area up here if you want to put something. Uh, I think this thing comes with a CD as well. Because right here there's a slot and there's a button. Some CD player. Which I don't know who still uses CDs. 2016, 2021. But uh, I do know that you, it does have the uh, Bluetooth where you can connect your phone to it. Uh, as you see also their phone, but it has the buttons right there for 
uh, talking, answer the phone, hang up the phone, mute, speaker, all that. Uh, I think the speaker's located right there. But other than that, it's just basic kind of sun visors. You don't have any mirror on this side. I think you've got one over there, yeah. But uh, it's pretty quiet in here. For it to be a uh, newer truck they definitely have gotten their uh, insulating and everything down as far as keeping it quieter on the inside of the truck you can't really hear stuff on the outside as, as easy um, but uh, this truck does have 64,072 miles so it's a fairly low mileage truck it don't get driven every day or if it does it's not very far um, it has been taken out of town and stuff on trips, so it does get used. Um, hauled stuff around town and stuff like that. And, uh, but this side over here. So there you go, that side opens up as well. That back seat does fold up and down as well. Just there's stuff there right now, so I ain't gonna do all that. Um, cup holders back here. Now this this piece right here does fold up to make it where you can put six people in here. But normally we don't ride six people in here, so we just keep it down. But uh, this the little piece that's up here broke off, so it does have a cover that'll go over it. We gotta get that fixed, and then this piece right here as well that goes up folds up out of the way in case somebody wants some leg room down there but if not use it as a cup holder got plenty of underneath the seat storage it's a little bit dirty it was kind of cleaned up a little bit with some water spots so. but other than that there is the 2016 F-150 I told y'all I would make a video about and um, my thoughts on it. And hope y'all enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.